Hi everybody, it's Dr. Lou Walters at the Source Wellness Center. One of the themes for June is Alzheimer's awareness. Uh, as doctors, we don't know the exact cause of Alzheimer's just yet, but we do know that inflammation can be a big factor in it. So let's talk about some things that cause inflammation and what you can do to avoid it. We'll state the obvious, getting hit in the head or head traumas uh, will increase inflammation. Now, the more often that this happens, the faster and the bigger the inflammatory response is. So you wanna uh, obviously avoid getting hit in the head or falling. One thing to keep in mind, because very often people, either mountain bikers or uh, skiers, will, or people just in general on the ice here in wintertime will tell me, I fell, doc, but I didn't hit my head, I'm okay. Well, when you fall, your brain is in a liquid and it slams up against the inside of the skull and then the, the rebound of that liquid then slams it up against the other side. So you can still cause trauma and injury to the brain even though you didn't hit your head on the ground. So be mindful of that. The food you eat can be inflammatory as well. So things like sugar, fried foods, trans fats, processed foods, real starchy foods, all that can increase inflammation, not just in your gut, but it can spill over into your brain. If you have food sensitivities or intolerances, that can also cause inflammation. There's lab testing uh, and other testing that can be done to determine what your food intolerances are. Gluten and dairy are real common ones, but those are certainly not the only ones and it doesn't affect everybody. Um, you wanna make sure that you are getting regular exercise. Um, exercise will help circulation to the brain, but also it'll help with uh, keeping weight off and type two diabetes, which is very much tied to eating too much sugar, not enough exercise, and then high blood sugar will then cause lots of inflammation and damage to the brain. So we wanna avoid type two diabetes. You wanna get enough sleep every night to uh, help your, your brain heal and replenish. Getting social connection and interaction can reduce inflammation. Um, so spending an hour, uh, at least three times a week with other people doing things you enjoy can help with your brain health as well. Chronic infections can lead to chronic inflammation that can affect the brain. Environmental exposures and toxins can also cause inflammation and affect the brain. Too high a stress on a chronic level um, can affect brain health and inflammation as well. So the nice thing about stress is that it's pretty much we create our own stress for the most part. So, you know, changing what you're focused on, changing the meaning can then reduce how you're uh, being affected by whatever the stressful event is. So, you know, if you see this as a, some terrible thing you have to deal with versus a great opportunity for you to, to rise and shine, um, that'll affect your stress levels and that can affect your inflammation and affect your brain health. I hope you found this helpful. Best wishes and be healthy.